Hey, what's going on everybody? So today we're going to be talking about this, the new string on my bow. This is an endless loop string. I've finally gotten into making endless loops. Now I've made a lot of Fl Flemish twist strings for my bows, but uh, I wanted to kind of explore this. Now the one thing that I did notice was that this string has a lot of noise. And the noise is coming from then in this area here where the vibration in the limb after the shot. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, take a few shots, let you hear that. And then we're going to do a DIY fix on that. Hopefully quiet this bow down without having to put in string silencers. So let's dive into that. Now these are the first four arrows I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot these and then I'll shoot one more round just so you can hear that. But it is, there's a lot of vibration in that. So. Hopefully you can hear that. It's a little bit windy out today. Yeah, like I say, if you're just target shooting, it's no big deal. But if you want to, you know, get your recurve out and go hunting with it, you're going to have to address that noise issue. <clears throat> All right, let's collect my arrows. Ooh, bad shot. So hopefully you heard the noise coming from the limb tips where the serving was actually hitting as the um, as the bow goes back to uh, static state. But right in here in this area, if you can see that, that's what we're going to be addressing today. And hopefully that's going to quiet this down. Now, now this little fix is very simple. Basically what I've done it's taking some Velcro strips, just the fuzzy part, not the sticky part. And I've shaped it down into uh, some fashioned uh, limb silencers. Now you can buy these commercially, I mean, six to $10, depending on what you get. But if you got stuff like this laying around, why not use it um, and you know, just do it yourself? I mean, that's the easiest fix that I can think of at the moment. And it may not work, but we're gonna try it today and hopefully um, it'll make a difference in the way the bow sounds. So once you get your string off your bow, we're going to take and clean this area right here with just some alcohol. Let's see if I can get this in focus. With just some alcohol just to get the wax build up off of there because, you know, over time that wax is going to build up or that string is constantly touching the tip, tip of the limb there. That's a tongue twister, tip of the limb. Make sure you get the string groove too, because if you don't, uh, the adhesive is not going to make good contact right there. And this is really all we're trying to do is just give a good surface for this to uh, attach to. All right. Now, of course, you don't have to shape your uh, silencers like I did. I just, I was just thinking the economy of space in this little. It's a narrow, uh, narrow up top here as opposed to down closer to the riser. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just kind of position it where I think it's going to be about the best. I can see where the string has already been uh, hitting here. So I got kind of a guide uh, where the uh, string comes together right here off the limb tip. So I think I'm going to go about right here with this one. And we just want to get this put in and you know, put a little bit of pressure there. Then the string, once you get the bow strung back up, that's going to, of course, uh, push that further into that string groove there. The thing about Velcro, it's a bear to get off the backing sometimes. So let's go ahead and slide this back just a little. And again, I'm just going to go in and, sorry about that, it's loud. Just as straight as I possibly can here. Doesn't have to be perfect. You want to pay attention to the string groove as you're putting this on. Now again, this is a little bit thicker than what you can get commercially, but I think it's going to work out just fine. And we can always test. Yeah, that's going to be just fine right there. I think that's going to work beautifully. Get the other side put on and string this bow up and go take a few more shots and see if that theory holds water.
uh, it was on the floor. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. This was about a $15 tool. Works really good. A little bit tight right there on the limb, but you can make it work. Uh, it works really good with thinner limb tips, especially like my uh, takedown longbow. All right. So as you can see, hopefully you can see, let me lighten this up just a little bit. If it's right in there very nice, the string actually pushes the Velcro down a little bit further into the string groove. And I think, I'm pretty sure that is going to uh, take care of a lot of that noise that you're hearing whenever you shoot. So let's go set back up, take a few shots. And then uh, once we do that, hopefully it's gonna be quiet. Hopefully it won't sling the Velcro off. <laughs> I don't think it will though. All right, so these are the first shots. Now I purposely waited um, to do this. I didn't want to do it <clears throat> before I actually filmed it, just to see if it actually worked. Uh, but I did the string build a couple days ago, and I'm going to show you that here at the end of this video. And it's only about four minutes long because I've condensed it all into a neat little package. But um, so let's take the shots. And again, this is the first time I'm hearing this. I've not not put an arrow through the bow since I put these on just a minute ago. Let's see if it makes a difference. Much better. Much better. <laughs> the vibration is completely gone. I mean, it's still there, but the Velcro is actually dampening that, that string vibration right here whenever that limb is, is going, back to, going back to shape. That is so much better. I wish I would have done this the other day, but again, I wanted to record it and just see if it worked uh, <clears throat> while I was presenting the, the little DIY project. So I'm really pleased with that. I'm happy with that. That's a good little, good little project for an afternoon. So if you got a bow, like a recurve, and you want to quiet it down uh, for hunting or maybe if you're just target shooting like I do, you know, it's driving you nuts just hearing that noise. I know with me it doesn't really matter but I do like it to be as quiet as possible I just something about that sound um, if you can get rid of a lot of that noise and vibration I don't know it's just more relaxing to shoot without having to contend with that so overall I'm happy with the outcome of this little project yeah so there we go all right well there you have it hope you enjoyed that hope it was giving you an idea if you need to silence your bow and you don't want to buy a commercial product um, so again you know come back and hang out with me sometimes if you're new to my channel um, and you like the content you see please consider subscribing uh, I try to post content every week we'll be talking about archery and different gear and you know little projects like this stuff you can do on your own without having to go out and buy something now the velcro I had just lying around it was a couple of long strips of this I think this is like one inch material yeah, one inch material, something like that. And then I just shaped it. You don't have to, you could have put it on just normal. But anyway, so again, I hope you enjoy the content. Um, please come back and hang out with me sometime. Thank you and uh, enjoy the string build. Mm -hmm.